Hi, my name is Arik Golowinski, and I'm the product manager for the release stage, specifically for the Progressive Delivery Group. Today, I want to walk through some of the functionality that we're going to be delivering in 12.8. So let's get started. So the first feature that I want to talk about is support predefined types of AWS environment variables. And this is closely tied to our theme for native, natively supporting cloud deployments, and specifically our streamlined AWS deployments epic. What we want to do is make it easier for the user to pass variables to AWS. And in order to do so, we're adding a new um, setting under CICD variables that allows you to select um, AWS variable from the dropdown list. And it will already be pre-populated with these um, values that you can select and enter the token value. The next feature that I want to talk about is allow only forward deployments. This is an extension to our incremental rollout for Kubernetes that we already have supported today. And what this is going to solve is a problem that we have uh, when we have delayed or concurrent deployments to the same environment. And what this is going to do is it's going to make sure that this is the latest deployment and only then allow to roll out. So you don't have um, older rollouts overriding the latest rollouts. So we're very excited about this feature and we think it's going to make, um, make it very, very easy uh, to use incremental rollout. And the next two features that I want to talk about are very closely tied and they're relating to feature flags. So the first one is decoupling feature flag environments and strategies. And basically we're doing a big UX refactor in order to uh, be able to support more flexibility in the future. So the way that feature flags looks today is that we have um, this feature flag dashboard and we can see basically that, um, that the feature flag status, we can see the feature flag itself and the environment specs that are currently connected to it. At the moment, there's a limitation where um, only one strategy is actually set in place per environment. And we want to be able to support multiple strategies going forward. So the first step to this uh, is decoupling uh, the close tie between environment and strategies. And, and this is the way the new UI is going to look. So we are going to have a strategies page. And in the strategy, you can toggle on or off your feature flag. You can set the type of the strategy. So it could be percent rollout, it could be user ID or others in the future. Um, and then on the bottom of the page, you can see uh, which environments are tied to the strategy. And the way that you add another uh, environment is by pressing the plus sign and adding the new environment. And this way you can see for every strategy how many environments um, are currently supported. The next feature, which is a, a continuation of this one, is mul allowing multiple strategies per environment. So you might want to have a combination of both user ID and percentage rollout, and we want to, be, uh, to allow this to happen. So uh, very similar to the previous UI, but with an additional uh, add strategy button, you can now um, see on the strategy page all the different combinations of strategies we have. Um, you can set the specific uh, configurations per strategy. So for percentage rule, that would be percent. For user ID, um, it would be the user IDs. And coming up uh, shortly would be a group strategy. And then each one of these strategies um, has the environments that are tied to it. And they can be added and removed at any time. So we're really excited about this. We think this is gonna make a big change in feature flags and uh, we're very excited about all this new functionality that we're adding in 12.8. Um, as always, your feedback is always welcome. Uh, feel free to tag me in the issues themselves or send me an email at ogolowinski at gitlab.com. And we're looking forward to uh, delivering this and hearing back from you.